Today I messed up when I offered my coworker a ride home. Last night I offered one of my coworkers a ride home after work. My coworker is an intern, an attractive intern, not gonna lie. However, I've never been tempted to cross that line because A, we work together and B, the age gap. That being said, despite my professional and platonic relationship with my coworker, I still managed to end up in a temporary love triangle somehow. To pick up where I left off in my opening line, she accepted my offer to drop her off at her apartment when we were done working. On our way, she answered a phone call from her boyfriend. I had no idea what the boyfriend was saying, but based on my coworker's unexpectedly candid responses, it became obvious that her boyfriend was upset at her for posting a photo on social media of her drinking somewhere with random guys. My coworker explained that the random guys actually work with her and the photos were taken during our monthly office party. She apologized for not telling her boyfriend about it before posting the pictures, but she refused to apologize for enjoying drinks with colleagues. The conversation between my coworker and her BF became more and more heated, especially when she started using words like insecure, immature and jealous to respond to her boyfriend. I was doing my best to not look like I was eavesdropping, even though it was impossible not to. At some point during the argument, I low-key had to use made-up sign language to communicate to my coworker that I didn't know where I was going and that she was supposed to be navigating the way to her apartment. She was listening to her boyfriend talking at that moment, but she had no problem giving me verbal instructions at the same time. The boyfriend must have realized his girlfriend was in the car with a person of interest because my coworker's next response to him was nope, not in an Uber. One of the guys at work offered to drive me home. She listened and listened and listened while shaking her head and rolling eyes before opening her mouth and suddenly saying yes, he is one of the guys in the effing photo. In fact, he's the tall guy on the far left with the cute dimples. It was literally the first compliment I've gotten from the opposite gender about my look since my girlfriend broke up with me a couple of years ago. I was so caught off guard with the cute dimples line that I momentarily stopped focusing on the road and stared at my coworker with deer in headlights eyes. My coworker hung up on her boyfriend and said I just missed the turn off. What was supposed to be a 10-minute drive to my coworker's apartment turned into a 25-minute journey because of my lack of concentration. The boyfriend called again a few minutes later and my coworker had to explain to him why she was still on the road and not at home yet. I didn't have to hear what my coworker's boyfriend was saying to know that he did not like the fact that his girlfriend was still with the cute dimples guy. My coworker eventually became so frustrated. She switched to Danish mid-argument, her native language. I think she assumed I wouldn't understand what she was saying, but I did. My best friend is Scandinavian. When we got high together, he never spoke English, which kind of forced me to learn what he was talking about. My coworker, now speaking Danish to her boyfriend, apologized for upsetting him and said that he had no reason to feel threatened because she would never cheat on him with anyone, especially not with the guys at work. So, there I was, still high on the cute dimples compliment. When I heard my coworker roast all the guys she worked with, including me, I guess she was doing it to convince her boyfriend that he was better than us and kind of boost his ego in the process because she really made us sound bad. She said I never blink my eyes and that I walk like I'm riding an invisible bicycle. On top of that, she said my voice was so husky it made her feel like she needed to clear her throat every time she heard me talk. The tension between my coworker and her boyfriend died down because she was laughing and talking dirty in Danish. When I finally made it to her apartment, I didn't even bother saying goodnight. All I did was smile and wave before leaving. I wish I never offered to drive her home. That was an uncomfortable experience. Monday is going to be awkward at the office for me.